ladies. This is Carla. Thanks for coming by today. What I'm going to do is work on a die that I got from Anna Griffin on the last HSN craft day. This one is called the Collapsible Birdcage Die. And it is so cute. I think you're really gonna like this die. So, what I'm gonna show you first are the pieces. Here are the pieces, and I cut my sheet in half because I wanna keep them in my little storage envelope, and this way they will fit. So, you get uh, the bottom of the birdcage, you get the sides of the birdcage, and you get the little top of the birdcage. Now, what you will need to do is you're gonna to need to cut two of this side of the birdcage and two of this side of the birdcage. That will give you four sides that will interlock together. Now you also get this nice little instruction sheet which gives you some examples here and right there. And of course on the inside you're going to get all of your instructions on how to put this sweet little card together and even some on the back so I'll show you how to get started with that <clears throat> now one of the things that Anna also featured when she uh, presented this die she featured a butterfly and bird set Okay, this is called All About Birds and Butterflies, and you get like 298 die cuts, and inside this package, you'll get three little packages. One will have, I've already emptied mine out because I like to be able to have access to them and see what I've got, and so you get all these little flowers here flowers and butterflies. Mine seem to be all upside down right now. but And they're not real bright. I will say these are more of a uh, botanical look. They're going to be more of your subdued colors, but you can put whatever you would like on your birdcage. Also with that, you get uh, another little package that has all kinds of butterflies, birds, parrots, and different things that you can embellish your little birdcage with. And you also get a package of foils. So I have these in a larger container here. I'll just pull some up to show you. Like you'll get some little flourishes like this, and you'll get some foliage like this, and maybe some gold single-sided butterflies and then some double-sided butterflies and you know just some little pretty foiled uh, embellishments that you can add to your little birdcage and then you also get let's see two pages of these little sentiments and so you can add these they're small so they all work perfect on this little birdcage so what i did was <clears throat> let's see let's put this over here I went through and I've already cut out my four sides and I've already kind of planned out what I'm going to put on uh, the embellishments now I want to show you this will be my fourth one and this one is going to be tweaked just a little bit and I'm going to give credit to let's see what I just do with that I'm going to give credit to. <laughs> uh, eh, what did I just do with those? Oh, here we go. Because I'll show you why I tweaked a little bit. Okay, here we go. Let me show you one of the first ones I made. Okay, I made this one. Isn't this darling? This one says happy birthday. And on this side, you can see it's got you know one of the flowers like a daisy flip it around you've got your little foiled flourish and your flower and over here you've got a bird and inside i put a butterfly and flower it's really kind of hard to see inside now what you do when you get ready to nail it you just flip it down and it flattens out to go into it can go into a five by seven or if you want to do a 
six by six envelope square, either way it would work. But as you can see, as I got this together, I started noticing, uh, where do you write who it's from? And I thought, hmm, I didn't allow a place for that. And I was thinking, well, how are we gonna do that? So anyway, I went on and I started looking at, well, I went back to Anna Griffin's presentation and then I decided there was one uh, tutorial on there someone had done that looked interesting and it was by Funtime Crafts. So I watched her video and I liked the way she did include a little flap on one of the sides for uh, maybe a gift card. And then the way she added something for the sentiment to be able to write on it. So here we go. First of all, we're gonna take these four sides. And as you can see, they have these little notches right here that are going to interlock. I'm gonna fold those down a bit. This is the Anna Griffin metallic uh, cardstock. So it's the same color on each side. I'm gonna lock those in. I have found if I go at it, lay them flat, it seems to want to hook together easier. Then I'm gonna come down here and see how this works because I also found that some of mine were wanting to, as you can see, it didn't wanna lay flat. It had this little piece right here that wanted to bow. When that stood up, it wanted to bow out. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut, I'm, I think it just needs to go up a little further here. So I'm gonna take my scissors and just notch that up just a little bit, not very much. Just enough so that might take the bow out. It wasn't laying quite as flat as I wanted it to or thought it should. So let me come up here and see that that takes that bow out. That will lay flat. So what I'm gonna do now is I am going to go ahead and connect the other four sides. And before I totally hook this thing together, I want to, um, I'm gonna cut this one down a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and embellish them. Now before, I went ahead and embellished after I put them together, but I'm thinking when I watch this tutorial, she did it uh, like I'm gonna do it this time, and I think it is much easier. Okay, that looks like that's gonna lay flat. Let's go ahead and connect it here. Let me come down a little bit. Let's see where I work on the edge of my desk. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna come here and see if this one will fit and give me that flat edge that I'm wanting. And if not, it, it doesn't, so I need to cut. What do I need to cut? Hmm. Uh, I need to cut this one. Let's cut this one a little bit so we can bring that on down. Okay, let's interlock that. And that allows that to lay flatter too. Gives it a little wiggle room there. Okay, now let's go ahead. We're gonna come over here. I'm going to attach this one. And I don't know where to cut. I think <laughs> I'll come up here and just try cutting down and just see if that will work. I'm gonna go ahead and cut one of these too. I don't know. I have to go back and cut the other way. And we're gonna come in here and notch this one. Slide it in there. Come on now. Getting that to bend. Yeah. Now that one's giving me a little 
bit of an issue. Let's see. Can I get that apart? I don't have that over enough. Now, there we go. That one slid in. I'll pull it back up just a tad. And then see if this one will fit in as well. Now let's come up here. There. Now, that seems to want to lay pretty flat. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start embellishing, and I've kind of got these laid out for each side. So over here, I'm going to take this little flower. Now the thing you have to remember is this is going to all fold. So when you're attaching something, you don't want anything glued to this other side that's on the other side of your one little side of your cage or it's not going to fold. It's okay if it sticks out a little bit as long as you don't glue it to that. So I'm going to put a little glue right here and I'm going to put this little flower on just like so. And as I said, and you also want to be careful when you're doing this, you don't want to cover these little notches down here because that's where you're going to notch in your base. Now, it's okay if this comes over a little bit as long as you don't glue it to that. And that should be just fine. Now, I've got this little bird, and I'm going to put this little bird up here. And I'm going to let him come down just a little bit. And I want my glue to be right here and I'm gonna just slide him in he's got his little branch that looks good I can do that I can even bring him up a little I think yes there we go and you can see he's glued on there but if you fold that He's going to stick out there and it's going to be just fine because you did not glue it to this little side right there. Now for this, this was um, the lady's idea that I saw on the tutorial I was telling you about. Now she suggested, let me get her measurements out here again, if you wanted to add a little gift card or something and I thought that was an adorable idea for such a cute little card. You could cut a strip of paper that's two and an eighth inches wide and seven and three fourths inches long. And, and down here at the bottom, you want a, a score an inch. If you turn this way and then score at four and seven eighths, you're going to fold up that bottom flap. You're gonna fold down the top flap and then you're going to take a little Velcro dot, and I put one right here in here, so that will close, and you can, uh, and it will fit a little gift card in here. I usually keep a little gift card around so I can demonstrate that kind of thing, but I don't happen to have one down here, so it will fit though. She showed it, and it's really cute. So again, your measurements on this are going to be two and an eighth inch wide seven and three quarters inch long and you're going to score turn it lengthways score at an inch and score at four and seven eighths then just fold those score lines put a little velcro dot do this and we're going to embellish this with this little flower get it here Let's move this up a little bit. So on the front of this, I'm gonna put this little flower, just like so. Let's do that. Just lay it on the top of that flap any way you want. And then I have this little flourish cut out of one of the, my dies that I have. 
and I'm not sure which way I want to add that. It's going to stick out a little bit, but that will be okay. I think I want it going up this one. I'm going to add a little glue. And we're going to add that to the bottom. It's going to go right over that flower a little bit, and that's just fine. Let's see if I've got that centered pretty good. Push that on there like so. And then in her butterflies and flowers, there's a little bumblebee. I'm going to add that little bumblebee right up here on this little flower. Right up here. Let's add that little bumblebee. I think that's really cute. Now we're going to just add, for now, I'm just going to add some glue to this circle. And let me see how this works here. I can fold this like so. And I can lay this. I'm going to put the glue on these little bars in the cage to hold this gift card holder on. And I thought this was just a clever idea that she came up with. So I'm going to lay this on here. And again, you want to be careful not to cover your notches. And this looks a little long to me because it's kind of covering where it's supposed to bend. Let me see. still works. I haven't done this, so I'm just <laughs> hoping this all comes together, and I think it is. I think it's going to be just fine. You just have to watch out for these little uh, flip things here, and I think that one's fine. Okay, so I think I'm going to lay that. Let this go ahead. And just let that sit a minute. And while that's sitting, I'm going to show you, I'll put my little hand cream on top of there and just let that have time to dry on there a little bit. She had this idea and I thought this was really clever. I like this idea. Since I didn't have a place for somebody to write, you know, who it was from, she had an idea to make a little tag. So I did that. I used some of the... Um, paper from another little piece that I'm going to make one out of and I used a tag die what do I do with my tag die here we go this little tag die right here and this little set I used this one and I cut out the top die then I just laid it on top of a piece of paper and cut around it so it would have a a uh, blank back to be able to write on. So what I'm gonna do now is just gonna take this little piece and I'm just gonna glue that onto the backing right here. Take this and I'd left just a maybe 16th of an inch, just a little bit of an edging around that. And then I'm gonna take my hole punch. It's gonna be kind of thick. This is just, a, oh gosh, I think an eighth of an inch punch. And I may have to come back and make it bigger. I'm not sure. Let's see where that goes. Let's come in here. That looks pretty good. Poke that hole in there. I'm gonna punch two to make sure I can get my ribbon through there. I'm gonna do three. That makes it look more even, <laughs> I think. And then I cut these two little pieces of um, that crinkle seam binding that you get from, what is it? Uh, 
my scrap cabin, I believe is what it is. I'm gonna take the green and the pink and I'm gonna try to poke it through that hole. And let me see, I may have to get my pokey tool to try to push that through there. So, here we go. And let's pull that through. Now I've got this. And that may be too long, I'm not sure, but I'm not going to tie anything yet. I just wanted to put that through there. And then on the front, I'm going to embellish it with just a little flower. Let me see here. Pull off the sticker. Add a little bit of glue to that. And I'm going to give that a little bit of an angle. And that will be a tag that will hang off of there. So now let's go ahead. That should be dry enough. See what I've see what I've done here. Okay, that works. Let's see if this will still flip up. You know, Velcro, it's tough. That will still flip up once that is folded or unfolded, however you want to look at it. Let's get that on there. I'm gonna fold this out. And now we're gonna go ahead and embellish this. And for this one. This is from the uh, Butterfly and Bird Kit. I'm going to put this little butterfly with a little bit of greenery there. I just thought that was really sweet and really pretty. Then I'm going to add the gold butterfly up at the top. So I'm going to put the glue on the pink because you don't know for sure where this will hit. So I don't want to put too much on that. I'm going to turn it at an angle and it's okay if it comes out. We'll remember that. It looks like down through here and here and up through here and I know we're gonna need some on the other side and watch your notches you don't want to get your notches in the way looks like I can come under here and that will dry clear and I'm gonna come down here a little bit just make sure we get this on this little bar and up here and then I've got this gold butterfly I liked him and I'm gonna put him just kind of in this a little bit up there I might go under there a little so I'm trying to think if I get it on these bars that's what I need to do. And then I can kind of adjust him a little bit. I'm gonna go under here a little bit too. I want him under there a little bit. Okay, sweet. Then we've got one more side. And this side is gonna add this little bird not sure what kind it is, but it's pretty. <laughs> it's got some pink on there. There's this little branch that he's sitting on. So I'm gonna try to make that like so, but I want these two little flourishes. And I really love how she has really downsized these little flourishes for this little bird cage. Really makes it sweet. I'm gonna take this one. We're gonna go up to the top as long as we don't get into these notches all right let's take that off i'm gonna put him about there so i know i need my flourish to go in here let's see what we've got here put him in there let's watch my notches there Okay, that's good. That's good. And then we'll take this one and we're going to put under down here. So let's get some glue here. Hmm, not sure. Let's see what we've got with that. Put this on where is it gonna be right in 
there. That's pretty. Okay. Let's put glue on here, here. Some over here. And I think under here. Okay, now we have all of our sides decorated. Now here comes the fun part. Ooh, look at me. I've got a little bit of mess there. So I'm going to take some of my water, squirt that off. Trying to see if I've got a little cloth around, and I do. If you'll excuse me a minute, I'm going to have to reach around here. Ah, there we go. Just don't want to get all of this glue stuff everywhere. Get that up. Now, let's take this around, and first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the bottom. Now, on all of my others, I have put something inside, but I've got so much on the outside of this that if I put something on the inside, I'm not even sure you would be able to see it, but it almost calls for that, doesn't it? All right, so I'm thinking... Let's go ahead and notch these together and see what happens. Probably going to have to maybe cut those again so we don't get that bow. See how we've got that bow? We don't want that bow. So I'm trying to figure out what I need to cut. Okay, I need to cut. I need to cut this, I think, so that will come down a little further. And this one, so it will go up a little further. As I said, I find it better if I can keep them flat. They seem to go in better. Now let's see if that fixes it or if we need to. Oh, we need this to come in there. My Velcro isn't real hard there. That's okay. All right, so I've got this, this, and this. This is Boeing, but that is not the cage. That's my um, gift card. So that's, I think that would just have to be that way. So let's take the bottom and let's think if I made, uh, the front would need to either be this or this. But it almost seems like it should be that <laughs> because the gift card's on the back. Um... Okay, let's put this on, and then we'll see if we want to put something on there. The way this goes together is this uh, decorative edge is going to be on the bottom, and the straight edge is going to go up. So, we're going to take this edge and lay it kind of sideways, kind of hook that up in there. We're going to bring it over to the other side. And this is where we had to leave room for those notches. Good. That works. Yay. And now we need to swing this one around to go in whoop, this notch. And hold your mouth just right so it doesn't all fall apart while you're trying to stick it all together. Actually, the... Um, engineering the construction of this is really good the way it comes together 
except I don't know what's happening. Oh, here we go. I just need to push these down. Whoa, there it went. And you know what? It stayed together. That's amazing. So let's see if we can get this. This is having a little bit of issue because of the gift thing, the gift card thing. But holder, I guess. Let's push these down as much as we can. And I don't know, I may not be putting anything inside of this one. I think I like it just the way it is. Let's see, we stand it up. That looks pretty good, just like that. Okay, now let's put the top on. Now, on one of my other ones, I cut out two of each of these and I doubled them and put them together. And I did it because the embossing, you know, one of your sides is not going to show the embossing, whichever way you turn it. So I do want the embossing to come front ways, if this is going to be my front. So I'm going to slip this in this way. I decided just to use the one on this one. I did cut two, but I thought I'm just going to try it with just the one and see how that comes together. And this just fits together. If you've had any of Anna's um, other dies, like I know I had the Christmas tree one and it kind of does this too, fits in that. Although that, I don't know. Yeah, I guess. It could slide a little more, but I don't think I'm gonna cut it. I think we're just gonna try to put it on. And I'm going to put it where the emboss is going to come this way. So I'm going to go this side first. So it will kind of be facing what I'm going to be calling my front. I'm going to turn that sideways a little bit. And this way. There we go. This one just needs to slide down to that little notch. If you turn it sideways, it goes on a little easier. And this one, the last one. going to be my front. As you can see, I should have moved that um, flourish down a little bit. I got it up a little bit too high, but I think it's still going to be just fine. So that would be our little bird cage. You can see each side. It's so pretty. This would be the gift card side. And if you didn't have the gift card, you would simply embellish it like the rest of it. And then um, I'm going to put, I could put something on there. I think I'm going to make this one a happy birthday. And I'm going to pull off this little birthday sentiment from what was included in that birds and butterflies. And I think I'm going to put it right on the front. You know what I could do? I'm going to try it. It may not work. I'm going to try to notch this and see if I can get it to go around that piece that's sticking out there. And I did it, but I don't know if I got it straight, but it's straight enough. There. How's that? That worked. Now let's take this happy birthday. And I'm going to put it right up here at the top. I've got room to center that up. So I'm just going to put some glue right here in the center. And let's see if we just pop that in. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Isn't that sweet? Yeah. 
and then this little tag like I said this this was her idea but I think it's a great idea for this and I'm gonna pull these through I think I'm gonna go ahead and just not knot it here on top before I tie on to little bird cage. So I'm going to just kind of tie this on just like so. And then I'm going to try to figure out where would I want this. Hmm, let's go ahead and fold it flat and then see where it would. I would like to tie it to the top. That's what I would like to do, I think. Let me raise this up. Okay, let's open it back up. Isn't that neat? The way you can just open it and close it. Oh, so cute, cute, cute. Okay, let's see. Hmm. I don't want it hanging over the front. I think I'm going to go... I think I'll go on the side here. That's what I think. I'm going to try to get this to go through maybe this third one right here or second one I don't know this one <laughs> I think that's if you start with that little one it's the third one up I'm gonna try to think take it through there oops I missed one of them this other one through there the green went through, but I didn't get the pink one. Okay, let's take it through. All right. Oh, yes. And then I'm just going to knot this on. And I'm going to hope that it all goes flat again. Let's lay it down. I'm just going to tie it on. I want to be kind of careful that's not real thick in there. And pull this through like so. Bring these around. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> this stuff is so. Um, squirmy, <laughs> I guess is the word. I can't get a hold of it. Come on, come on, come on. All right, let's come through here. Tie this up. And I just want to tie it once because I think it will hold just fine. Okay, if we open this up, let's see what happens. Oh, did I tie it where I can't open it? Ooh, let's see. Come on now. <gasps> is that going to work? Does it need to be looser? Oh, that's okay. I think that's okay. I could have left it a little looser. I can hang it down. I think that is so sweet. So that is the Anna Griffin Birdhouse collapsible cage. Bird cage collapsible die. There you go. I'll get it. Now I want to show you. I showed you the one I had made. So here's another one that we just made. And I think that's darling. You can write on there to and from. This is a happy birthday one. And then this little gift card idea on the back that I got from. Um, oh gosh, I'll look at it again. Because it's worth mentioning. You might want to go over and watch her video. Here it is. Um, Fun Time Crafts. So that was her idea. And I like that a lot with that little tag hanging off there. Uh, this is the one I shared with you before we began, and I did get something in there. And the way I did that was I took two and put them together, but they're not mirrored, so it's kind of hard to get it so you don't see the back side at some point. And then I just glued them to this little base in here where you can kind of see those through the window. And here's another one. And then the inside of this one... 
I put a butterfly and a flower. If you can see that through there, come up a little closer. And then as you turn it, there's a little bird, the rose, the flower, another little bird. And I'd mix this. This was like a golden pink and a griffin print. And then this is the one that I doubled up on because on one side of the gold it was white and I wanted it to be gold on all the sides so that's why I doubled up with that and that one worked out well but you, as you can see here it's got that little bit of bow where I didn't realize I could just you know snip that a little and that would eliminate the bow in that little cage now this next idea this was presented on the presentation that Anna did for craft day and she acknowledged the lady who had sent this to her and I think this is an amazing idea okay we made the little bird cage here we go and then side you can see there is a little bird in there got a little bird in there and over here it's embellished and this says just a note but the idea for this little tray to go with it was just, you know, just adorable. What uh, happened was there was a die, and it wasn't this same die, but I had this die with a shadow layer. So I cut out the shadow layer, then I cut out two more layers, and you could layer it up as much as you wanted. And it's out of a gold kind of metallic paper. And then I just embellished the little ends and put two little colorful flowers and a little um, embellishment in the middle that I cut out. And this makes a little tray. Isn't that sweet? And mine is not probably as fancy as the one that was sent to her. But I still think what a presentation that makes. Look at that. You know, you might have to send directions with the person you send it to. Say, open that up and set it in that little tray. Isn't that sweet? Now, the lady who had sent this in, not only has she made the little tray and the bird cage, but she also uh, made a gift box to put it all in. It, it was quite stunning it was and I know throughout here I'm I'm interchanging the words birdhouse birdcage it's a birdcage so anyway this is adorable so a couple of tweaked ideas one from fun crafts and one from I'm not sure what her name was but if you watch any of Anna's presentations on that last craft day you can see who that was and then these are just following the die and making it as is so i think it's adorable i love the way even this would fold up flat and both of these would go in a five by seven envelope and i thought with this one you could put a sentiment card on the back and write what you would want to write and on these other two i will probably go back and make a little tag to go on those because I, I just didn't even think about that. And this one says, happy birthday. And this one says, this one I don't have one on yet. So let's think, what do we want to put on there? Let's just grab, that's pretty. Um, you know, I got a lot of birthdays coming up. So I think I'm just going to put birthday wishes on that one as well. Let's pull that out. And I'll get my glue. That looks like the front to me. I'm not sure if I doubled up on the inside. Yes, I did. So I'm not sure where this is going to be able to fit the best. Um, probably maybe over here, unless I glued my butterfly down too well. There we go. I can get it under that butterfly. And that says birthday wishes. It's going to add my glue to this little bar. A little on the end of happy birthday. So if it goes under that butterfly, that would also keep it on there. And then this, I'm just going to slide. Maybe give it a little an angle. And I think that's just sweet as it can be. 
So I hope you've had a wonderful day. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. And if you've been holding back on getting this little die, I say go for it. It is the sweetest little thing. And as I said, the engineering of putting this all together, the only thing I had to tweak with that is trying to get uh, the little uh, bow out of the sides. And that worked just by snipping those a little bit. So anyway, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And until next time, bye-bye.